Good evening, everyone, and welcome to The Final Word. Every night, we take a hard look at the stories and provide you with multiple points of view from here and around the world. We bring you news you can use, news you can trust. I'm Rico Hizon, and this is The Final Word on CNN Philippines. No less than President Bombo Marcos blames the National Grid Corporation for the power failure in parts of Western Visayas. Inflation further slows down in December, but the government misses its full-year average target. We get the analysis of AAA Southeast Equities President Will Cabangon. Plus, fabrics and textiles are so interwoven in our culture and themes. How can the country show off its colors to the world? The Science and Technology Department joins us straight ahead. A sigh of relief for many residents in parts of Western Visayas. After days of power failure, electricity is now back. The Panay subgrid is up and running again as of this afternoon, but not without President Marcos lecturing the National Grid Corporation. Here is the president in his own words. Accountability lies with the NGCP. They are tasked with grid stability. Stability involves proactive responses to breakdowns and unexpected events, a duty that NGCP, unfortunately, has not fulfilled adequately. President Marcos ordered the Energy Regulatory Commission to reset the rates of the NGCP to make sure it complies with its obligation. Thank you very much. Julius Leano Jr., DOST Philippine Textile Research Institute. And before we go here, words from indigenous Quechua weaver, Nilda Kalanaupu Alvarez. Each and every piece of cloth embodies the spirit, skill, and personal history of an individual weaver. It ties together with an endless thread, the emotional life of people. And that's the final word this Friday, January the 5th. Join us again on Monday for News You Can Use, News You Can Trust. Have a great weekend, everyone. I'm Rico Hizon. Stay safe, stay healthy. Good night.